Hello, hello, my friends. This is for Pladens. And welcome to a... something about a bit of a sad topic. Um, in this video, there will be the conversation I recorded with Tamina Summer, the owner of the Mushroom Fleet community, um, about his impeachment out of the council and what has happened and what he thinks about it. Um, please don't hate. The questions I ask and stuff is just because it's because I am curious and I want to know what happened. And also because I'm pretty much very alienated and put off by how something like this can come to be. It's the first noticeable decision I got wind of and that affects me of the council which exists for three weeks already so that's a pretty bad PR strategy, if you ask me. But yeah, conversation will follow. Please don't judge it too hard. It's just me voicing, like voicing concern, and yeah, putting up something on YouTube which should get your attention. All right, so we're, I'm I'm now asking Tom why how. How it's possible to vote the v person with the most popular votes out of the Starmate Council, so... Well, the short answer is, Shine gave them additional powers to vote me off by a 5 to 1 vote. When I wasn't there. So, but with 80% of the votes, they could vote you out? Something like that, yeah. And... What made you so unpopular that they... Th that they got the votes to g vote you out? Because the reason Shine gave them the additional powers is because Duke wanted me gone. Because he's letting his personal feelings get in the way of business decisions. Duke is uh, a Star Maid player. He's a Star Maid. He's a Star Maid dev. Oh. He's part of Shine. And he's in the he, council. Yeah. He no. He's not in the council. He's part of Shine, and I guess organized the council allegedly. I I I I told him. I didn't see any That's a load example. of ball. Yeah, I basically what it came down to was after three weeks of everybody arguing about what they were supposed to do, what their roles were, completely taking the ball and running off with it, like starting to think they were pseudo developers that could just change things arbitrarily. Like a few of them had the right idea and they stayed quiet and a few of them had the right idea and just got on with it. But a few of them thought that they had just been given a seal or a mandate to just go and change whatever they want, however they feel, because they've been voted in now. So that's going to... And I disagreed with that. I said, no, we're supposed to be a bridge between the players and developer. We're supposed to be a voice for the players that voted for us. And we represent different vote voter blocks. That's what they had with the council. So you tried to be a responsible politicians and they were basically the normal power hungry politicians. Yes, exactly. And so what I said from the beginning was, look, I don't want to be, I just don't want, I want to be happy with an equal flat structure for the council. And then we'll just, what we do is we take the word of shine and then we bring the word of the players that we represent. And it's that simple. However, uh, Duke started to take the initiative and tell people to start sorting out forum threads, suggestion threads. So um, like someone volunteered to do that. It's fine. It's something that they probably needed to do. I don't really know if it's inside the council's remit to actually suggest anything. It's more likely that they were collating. So it's like a secretarial or clerical role. All right. And um, the problem is that it became, it, it wasn't what it was supposed to be. It took three weeks to get one meeting and they would not, they would not, they would not budge an inch over anything and accused me of stonewalling them. When the reality is, the meeting was supposed to take place last weekend. It was delayed until this weekend. And as a result, the report that I handed in wasn't even given to Shine, as far as I know, until after their meeting on Sunday. So, you know, even though I handed in a five-page report, which, by the way, the other councillors either didn't write a report, hadn't even given their email out yet, okay, so... Or... Um, put a post in a thread in a private part of the forum, which I flat refused to use. I said, I don't see why I should be using StarMade Dock because I wasn't voted in by people that use StarMade Dock. 
and nobody voted for me on StarMade Doc. In fact, the council is at council.star-made.org, um, you know, and it's not the same website. So at first, straight away, and, and then also they tried to restrict my scope by saying that this ought, this this council had a restricted audience, which basically means no internationals, no one outside of StarMade Doc. And I was just like, well, I don't represent anybody here. And I brought that up. And then they initially told me, okay, go ahead, go and make a video, go and speak to these people. But then they started putting terms in to say things like, oh, I have to give them the names of everyone that I contact and all this sort of thing. And um, also from the word go, the, the council was changed to a three month term, not a, not a, not a six month term. Uh, it was inconvenient me being there from the start and all of the people in the forums that don't like us because of the fraction, fractionalization of the community, um, they felt like Keptic should have won, despite the numbers. And so now they've got Keptic. their way. He's just another one of the people that basically you're gonna have StarMade Doc will represent the game, and the people that use StarMade Doc will represent the game. Anybody from a foreign speaking community um, is not gonna be heard. And um, yeah, that's the bottom line. Because that's when you a look lot at of bullshit. Because when you look Sorry at Sorry if I like, worded like that, but no, no, that's no, it's a... fine. I agree. Because the thing is, right? I pushed for one thing, which was support for international communities and translation of the wiki. All I managed to do was get translation of French put up the agenda because it wasn't the priority. And so basically, I said, look, you know, you've got a massive international audience and you're only catering to the Americans. You really need all the English speaking, OK? And you only need to um, you know, translate the wiki into multiple languages. And then you've got all the data you need to implement game, maybe, if you want to do that option. I wasn't making that suggestion. I was just it was brought up and I pushed hard for that. Um, well. In the limit, with with the and that's the one thing I can say I did for the game when I was in in office for the three weeks. I never had a meeting with anyone. I handed in a six-page report, and um, I managed to get French. You know, you know the sad thing, Tom. Yeah. From all the things I heard from the council, this is probably the most productive thing that came out of the council. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be honest. <laughs> Most people are actually looking at this and saying the first thing the council did was vote off one of the other councillors. Yeah, and that's uh, a very bad, very, very, mm. very bad PR for them. They're basically saying that the reason was because I was I, the reason I was not cooperating was because I was no never available. Apparently, on my application form, it said that I could give sixty or eighty hours a week to them, and that was my availability. <laughs> They never needed that many hours. Hang on, they how many hours does a week have? 146, 146, 146, 169. 168 hours a week. Yeah, 168 hours. And you're dedicating and so they, half the time to Starmate. Yeah. That's 12 hours a day. And they were trying to say that I wasn't. But I asked them, unless they wanted me to sit there and twiddle my thumbs all day and say I was working on the council, say there wasn't enough work. Say one question, is there any chance that you get one of them to be on TeamSpeak or something so I can yes, there have was. an interview with them? There was. Well, no, no I can't get... They, dude, they're never going to do anything for me or Mushroom Fleet again. He said so much... He, there was a live stream last night where people were expressing their disgust at what had happened and... Uh, allowing people to come into the chat and debate. We invited a number of the people. We didn't block anyone. We didn't stop them from saying what they were saying when they were <sighs> trying to, you know. And then, and then Wed TM came along, and he dropped. He basically said, "Your NDA is gone now. Go ahead and tell us what it is that you're so that you keep saying you can't say." Yeah. So they told me I have no NDA, and I've got that on record. But the point is, he then went on to tell us that they don't want the game to grow right now because they've seen games fail when they have too many players and players cause problems and then he went on to say that if you don't like it why, you can, why are you they can afraid of having on. their game growing it gets better he also said if you don't like it you can go make your own game <laughs> and yeah. this he said to like 40 people that were watching Okay, you two know? things that are probably going to piss off a lot of people. Number one, 
why do they not want to have the game growing? And what are they afraid of uh, with the current community? The current community is a very... is a skilled and productive community. Yeah. They're testing, they're bug reporting. What are they afraid of? I don't know. And all I'm seeing is all these people that have been banned by the StarMade doc have been private messaging me and saying stuff like, yeah, we had the same thing. We got accused of being trolls when we were being flamed. And then when we reported logs showing that we were actually the victim, they just banned us. Right? Oh, so it's basically yeah. Gaijin Mini. Yeah. Sorry Pretty if I much. have to word it like this, but... That's okay. No, no, I get it. That's fine. And now I'm getting people uh, create... What is it? I've had two fake accounts, um, t like, sending me weird tweets which have been deleted now. <laughs> it's really stupid. I think I know who it is, and I mentioned no names. Uh, I see. Well, this is most weird. Say, Indeed. how can I get into contact with these people? No idea. I wouldn't put Mushroom Fleet on it, because they WebTM said that Mushroom Fleet will never have any access to the developers. Yeah? And Why? I was like, well, I don't know. We weren't. We weren't even asking. Somebody. Do you know what someone said? Someone said we just want to like like we're a big community that plays this game. We just want to have Star... a voice like everybody else. Starmade and... doc is one made doc. Yeah. Dot net. Okay. Right. Certain people. Certain people. Not people that I've told to do anything. Have made posts in the forum asking forum. what's going on. Right, and then they've been banned and had their posts and threads removed. Okay, uh, one of our guys, one of our guys went onto the chat and uh, literally all planes. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm currently he... going council roles, seek opinions from the community and yeah. ideas on you suggestions, issues, and concerns, and present them to the dev team for consideration. I think 50% yeah. of the Starme community is in Mushroom Fleet. And the thing is, do you see... I don't know if that's true. It might be an inflation. I like to downplay. I'd like to say more like 20%, to be honest. I'm, Anyways, I'm to, where the Whatever forums? the number. How do I make a new thread? Uh, mate, you probably get banned. I don't care. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Well, you're well, look, I'm, I don't, I'm not the boss of you. I'm not the boss of anybody. You know, that's if the I am pissed... They think, well, this is... Dude, Two you things are your own generally person. happen. You, you are your own person, and I will not tell you what to do. This is another cons misconception with Mushroom Fleet. I don't tell oh, people what to do. Terms of service, I never have. blah, blah. Okay, let's sweep the terms of service. Well, to be honest, mate, that council definition, someone copy-pasted it into the chat, asking, you know, isn't this what the council's supposed to be? And, um, you know, they got banned from the game. Or from their website. Whatever. They got banned from the website. Got to be careful with those technicalities. Oh, lovely. So... Ah. They have a nice little p clause in the terms of use. Please keep your posts... Keep your topics of discussion relevant to the original post of a thread. If not, then the dev team is allowed to remove you and if forced to ban you. It's in the terms of use. It is, yeah. They can ban whoever they want, but they don't. Okay. They, well... They, they, they only choose to do that when they like it. You know, it's, it's, it only fits when... Anyway, you know they'd I mean? like to make a new post. I just want to show you something as well. See this How link I'm sending you? Personal details. Start you a new that? conversation. Dude? Hmm? You see that link? Because they said that I was unable to make an appointment for this meeting with them. Alright? Now, this is my reply to that invitation to put my hours on a spreadsheet, which I wasn't allowed to edit. And I said... As a full-time call-out engineer and father, I have fluctuating time patterns. It's hard to say what availability there may be in a given week. Also, there is a two-week pattern. I cannot actually change the values on this mm -hmm. spreadsheet either. As in, I can't change the values on the spreadsheet, so I couldn't put my hours in. The link you gave me in. just puts me on the Mushroom Fleet community. Oh, does it? Here, let me give you a better link. 
How about now? That'll work. That's that's literally a screenshot of the email that was sent. Now, when I took that screenshot, it was eight hours since I had sent the message. That message was sent at 4.22 p.m. I was kicked off the council at about six. So they gave me an hour and a half. And that, so within an hour and a half of me saying, you haven't given me permission to put my hours in, they basically just decided to vote me off the council for not telling them when I was available. Even though they continually held meetings at 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Or they tried to and didn't, you know? Like, the first one didn't happen. The second one, I could say, happened when I couldn't be there. And then, you know, within a couple of days, they voted me off. How the freaking heck do I, do I accept the rules? So, you know, but the thing is, you just got to remember what the Chief Operations Officer said. If you don't like it, make your own game. Okay, conversation title. Hmm. I'd like to know the but you, reasons. But you know, the funny why... thing is, though, we called it before the election even was started. We knew um, this would happen. We knew that we would get a majority, and then they would do this. So, well, it's sad that they acted so predictably, to be honest, and that's yes. why we weren't that surprised when it happened. I know that no. onlookers might be, but. A lot of us actually saw this coming. We were wondering how long it would take. I mean, I, I thought it would take a month, but, you know, others thought it would take less time. So, you know, we weren't exactly right, but how it happened and uh, the reasons for it, yeah, definitely all happened exactly as we thought. And then they can say that there's, there's the funny thing, they kept telling me there's no conspiracy. You're just impossible to work with. Um, and I, I'd like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, sure I, I am. I'm, I'd, I'm making a statement. Um, I, I started. I, I heard the owner of Mushroom Fleet Community was voted off the council. I'd like to inquire why. And it's because we're, you know, we're I, not, I'm we're not no finished with what I'm trying to state. And I'd like to. What was it? You were voted off of the council, and what's the other thing? <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'd like to know how a. Council has the. No, they said they impeached me. They added right. Dude. To vote. Shine. Out a Here, look at this. They're elected by popular vote. Yeah, shine, that shine, shine gave impeachment powers. Like, that would be like a parliament. Parl parl how is it? Parliament. Parliament voting thing out a party they don't in a democracy. The hardly democratic in my understanding. Sincerely a Four planes. Two-year member of Star. Made. Okay. I heard the owner of Mushroom Fleet was voted out of the council. I'd like to inquire why, and I'd like to know how a council has the authority to vote out a member elected by popular vote. That mm. would be like a parliament voting out a party they don't like in a democracy. Hardly democratic in my understand yeah sincerely for planes a two-year member of star well they told I me i think i this is worded democratic. in such a way that but they've said that it's not democrat they said it's not democracy this is the it Starmade doesn't Council. matter yeah i that's what i said <laughs> please enter a valid recipient <laughs> Or participants. Oh yeah, lots of yeah. A load of people have got themselves banned because they've not been happy about this, and I think it's funny. Well, who that are they're participants? Willing to ban I could. Us I could when add. They weren't willing to ban anyone that caused the trouble Sh to begin Shine? with. Shine? Is that a, <laughs> that a participant? I don't know. To be honest, I don't have any interest in that website anymore. 
people started boycotting it before I had the idea. So, you uh, know. Okay, you can find them. It's... Schema? Yep. Schema. Who should I add as participants? Who's the guy who doesn't like you? Well, Duke is one of the guys. Duke. To be honest, they say that it's, they say that there's, you know, they say they've got no Duke problem, of Realms. That's just unbelievable. Is his name Duke of Realms? Yes. He's apparently the one of the guys in charge. He acts like he's in charge, so I guess he is. All right, know. start a conversation. I don't, I, I, I don't really understand their company structure anymore. It seems like they're all directors, you know? I may not start a conversation with Schema. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, yeah, unfortunately not. You can't, you can't do that. And besides, they make out like he knew all about this. They said that he was totally cool with it. Well, okay. Basically, what it comes down to is they thought that I was deliberately causing problems when actually all I saw was an inability to do all the right. function that a cancer um, is. Can I, I, can I share this? Planning. I'm going to share this around the team speak now. All right. Sure. All right, my reply. I'm turning to to a member of the council to get more insight. Thank you for your answer. Uh, I'll post a quick reply in the same thread. I'm turning to a member of the council to get more insight. Thanks for the answer. Let's see what comes of this. Alright then, thanks well, for you having might... you in the interview. This has become about a 15 minute recording. Yeah. Well, um, I hope you don't get yourself banned, mate, because this is the thing. It well, seems like everyone if, if that has I, a problem just gets banned. If I am, which is funny. will that make me unable to go on Mushroom Fleet? No, it won't. I, You know I don't really care if I get banned there, because yeah. it, it's the internet I can make another account. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And... I can simply make an account for planes, which is my Twitch account. I don't stream there, but yeah, it's the same. Or I'll I'll, I'll change my name completely and yeah, exactly because the name yeah. for planes is a bit sometimes interesting and leads to funny and hilarious misunderstandings. Anyways, so yeah. All right, mate. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for being interested, and yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is... It all came as a big shock to everybody. Brain to fails honest... to comprehend. I heard it two days ago that... Yeah. That there was the rumor going around and everybody was like, they can't do that. Well, no, they can't. They can do whatever they want. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> it's a big unholy mess. Yep. And basically, they the, the actions of a few can make everyone suffer. And to be honest, no, to... we're the we're the victims. I don't. I don't. Sorry, I have done nothing wrong, and I have been. They had lies tell, told about me, and uh, I'll defend my name. So if they thought I was just going to take this lying down like the last five times that I did, oh, they're wrong. I'm sorry. Yes. They should have. They should have. They should have done better. It's like when they when you poke an ant hive, thinking ants are small and insignificant creatures, and then you suddenly discover that ants are everywhere. First of all, that hey, and they are incredibly efficient and stuff. Um, I just been poked by Valentino. No worries. Sorta. I'm gonna drop down to the left. Anyways, mm. yeah and. Ants. I I fell into an ant hive when I was six. Yes. I we, we we were camping in my in a camping van and we were taking a quick break from driving. Yeah. 
and it's like, ooh, that's a nice soft dirt mountain. And I jump right in it and it collapses and my dad pulls me out. Mm. But... Yeah. Ants all over me. My entire skin was red for the next few days. Was wow. the freaking lovely red ants. Oh my god. Uh, it burned and hurt. Yes. It's not something you'd like. Like stepping on a bee, but worse. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we put yogurt on it for the next few days. <laughs> and it Fresh. helped. And we... It, it was a very interesting experience. I got very fascinated by ants. From that point on, because, you know, very often if you have ants crawling on you, they don't bite you. Because they're not angry. It's the same with bees and wasps. I had a wasp sitting on my hand a couple of weeks, uh, like, last fall. It didn't sting me. It's just, if they relax and you're relaxed... Look at this! Uh, there's another one now. Hmm? Comrades made another fake account. Ooh. I swear it's I swear it is him cuz it's Can you it's, post it's the his... link? Yeah, sure here. Um well, just uh type mushroom fleet into Valentino and... Dante wants to know if you still play Starbound for him. Play Starbound? Yeah, I play Starbound. I like Starbound. It's cool. I play it with my son. All right. Um So yeah. Ha on a different question, it's been quite the question going around how the server entity limit is currently going to be set. No idea. We'll have to wait and see what the what the testing is. and it's it's getting it's getting late, mate. It's getting late. I gotta go. I I know, but yeah, testing. So it's up for testing how wh what'll be and how it'll like go stuff. Valentino wants to know if you'll do an episode with him. He just got the game. I think I can reply with no. Right? Hmm. Um. So, yeah. Are you going to record with Valentino or not? I, I like any time soon. I don't want to give him an answer. Like, not, re not really. Uh, he has the game. But he's not really recording. Alright. Uh, Valentino made a sad face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, anyway, wait, thank you. And I guess, thank you, uh. my loyal and view, few viewers for watching this, and have a nice one. Bye.